The Sys Manager provides a single console for the management of mixed Linux environments. It really gives customers that freedom of choice and it provides a one platform solution for automated patch and configuration management. It provides auto remediation for the entire infrastructure at scale. And now that we're offering SUSE Manager in the cloud with AWS, it provides a simplified way for companies to take advantage of this new way of managing their infrastructure. So whether they're choosing to run on premises or in the cloud, SUSE Manager is that one tool they need to give them the ability to manage disparate Linux systems from a single console. So latest release was uh, June 2023 and will release version 4.3.6. It looks like a maintenance update, but it's a lot beyond that. Because what we did is that we backported all the features from 4.4 to 4.3. And now we release it in, in June. It includes support for all the enterprise Linux family, like for example, uh, um, Rocky Linux, uh, Alma Linux, Oracle Linux, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, SUSE Liberty. So you have all these Linux covered there. We can also include now uh, temporary fixes coming from support uh, directly from SUSE Manager to all your systems. Of course, we extended the support to include whatever was going to be covered in 4.4. So with the release 4.3 will be supported until June 2025. That was our latest release. Suma on AWS, the pay-as-you-go version, really extends our simplification message to our customers. So now customers have a choice. They can either choose Suma on-premises or pay-as-you-go, and the pay-as-you-go version gives them simplified billing, metered usage, monthly billing, or wherever they want to use their AWS credits. We're really looking forward to releasing this AWS version in October, and we look forward to seeing our customers' feedback. Thank you.